Hi again, this is Miss Lourdes, and today we will be making an abstract painting. But first, let's talk about some abstract paintings before we begin. Abstract art avoids representing anything from reality. It is only a composition of shapes, colors, and forms that can be interpreted in any way by the viewer. Some abstract artists are inspired by colors they see in music, called synesthesia. Like Melissa McCracken, shown here, and Vance Kirkland, shown here. Other artists find the performance of creating the painting to be just as important, like Jackson Pollock's strip paintings. For the painting we'll do today, we'll take some inspiration from Vance Kirkland's dot paintings. Let's begin. For this painting, I am using a small canvas and acrylic paints, but you can use any paints you have and paper too. You can experiment with different colors. Here I am experimenting with the two primary colors, blue and red. I'm using um, also white to make a tint of blue and a tint of red. The first step I take is block out the whole canvas with colors I mixed with a flat brush. As you can see, I've pre-mixed my colors, but I'm also mixing them on the canvas to see how they look when I mix them on the canvas. Once I'm satisfied with the background, I add some freeform shapes wherever I feel they will look interesting. There's no right or wrong way to place these shapes, so just kind of go with the flow.
I then experiment and use my flat brush again and smooth all the shapes into each other to see how they will look while they're still wet. And I think it looks pretty neat. Because I want to make a Kirkland style painting, I wait until the end to paint all the dots. You can do this using a skinny paintbrush or even Q-tips to create the dots. And that's it! I hope you had fun, and if you followed along, try making one with different colors next, and experiment. Remember, there is no right or wrong way to make an abstract painting. Thanks for watching! See you next time!